Welcome to your lesson in the back balance. The back balance is a really beautiful shape that is a challenging one because it's all up to you to balance. You don't have any locks or safeties to hold you in. So fabric is to the side, straddle same side hook, swim behind you for the tail, grab and then press your bottom arm by your side, unhook your knee, think you're going through a straddle and then meeting your legs together in a diamond shape, possibly release the arm. And then take it out, reach up high, and step on the mat. I suggest to learn this simply off the mat because it's very likely that you might tip over to the side and fall out of this when learning. Same side hook. Swim behind you. Grab the tail. Now the key to this is when you unhook your leg, not leaning away from the pole but leaning towards it, and passing the hook knee through a straddle position. My left arm is straight. I think about spiraling my arm using my upper back muscles, my lat to hold me. And then my right arm reaches back. I look towards the pole inside. to get out, reach up high, and then step down. I suggest doing this with a spotter nearby because it's very likely you might fall to the side. All right, so we'll do it again, this time airbound. Once you have the hang of it, literally off the mat, then you can try it a little bit higher. Okay, so same side hook again. Swim behind you, glue your bottom arm by your side. I like to do this with a completely straight arm. Unhook the leg. Leg options are legs can be open, they can be together, the most challenging one, or once again in the diamond. To get out, reach the arm up high. Now to get out of it in the air, you have to flag the fabric around to the front, which is a whole challenge in itself, and then step. We'll do the airbound version again in slow motion. So when you unhook the knee, it's very likely when you unhook the knee that your torso will wanna tip away from the pole. You have to think about leaning in towards the pole and the oppositional reach, which I'll explain in a moment. Same side hook, swim behind, grab the tail. Now I prefer a straight arm. I have people seen, I have seen people do this successfully with a bent arm, but a straight arm and a spiraling action pushing your arm into your side. Now when I release my leg, my left arm pushes forward and my right arm reaches back and I'm reaching an opposition of the two arms. Joining the legs together is the most challenging one and bending the knees will be a little bit easier to balance. So you wanna think that this is an upper back bend over the pull of the fabric, not necessarily a lower back bend. The more mobility you have in your upper back and your shoulders, the easier this will be. Okay, and then to get out of it, flag around to the front and step on the tail. So definitely try this simply off the mat. Make sure you have a spotter nearby because it is likely that you might tip to the side when you're first learning. Alrighty, so that was your lesson in the back balance.